Right, what's happening guys and girls? Welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, I am gonna be jumping back onto my KTM 250. Now it's been a while since I rode the bike because last time I went out on my birthday and I took a few hard slaps to the floor. So it kind of, I don't know, upset my confidence a tiny bit, but I thought today would be a good day to jump back on the bike and sort of get reacquainted with the mountain because we have like, what, four weeks left of lockdown? Three or four weeks left? Four or five weeks. Four or five weeks. Well, over, but four or five weeks. Is it over? Yeah. Kind of. I guess so. But yeah, like I've got a few weeks left. I have a few weeks left till we go back to Driftmasters and a few weeks left before I go back to London. And I kind of really want to start to master some of the trails that we've been going on up the mountains. So yeah, today's job is jumping back on this machine and getting back used to her. As you can see, the handlebars took a bit of a beating. As I said, it's been a long time since I think the older you get, um, it was alright when you were younger when you used to hit the floor, it wasn't so much of a big thing but the older you get it kind of hurts a little bit more. It's always a bit of a confidence booster getting back on and sort of managing to master the trails that you were on before so that's pretty much today's, today's mission. Are you coming? I am. I am. This I am. is James KTM Enduro 350. 350. It's got softer. Why I got such a big bike, but I do. It's got softer suspension because James has got very soft hands. I do. I bruise very easily. <laughs> He's a little Don't peach. Be jealous. <laughs> He's a little peach, actually. No, to be fair, I took some. I was going to say bangs. Then I took some hits to the floor. You're good at falling. I am good at falling. I bounce. Thank God. All that. Yeah. Luck. You're good at getting back up, though. Yeah. I'm just going to take the bike over now to power wash it off because there's still some mud on it and some stuff that I should have done when I came off the last time, but we'll go and do that. It's fine, it's no problem. and then we are on the road. Hopefully, it is super warm today. Always out from the sunshine when you go out and go for a play. Right, let's get ready. So guys, I wanted to talk to you about Y Food today because they are actually sponsoring the video, but it is a product that I have been using whilst I've been over here in Ireland and I will continue to do so, especially now we're getting back into the days of track days, going up on the bikes on the mountain, because if I'm honest, I get a little bit of a nervous belly before I'm about to go up and do something really physical, especially with my driving. Um, I don't know, I guess it's just like the adrenaline that I get on track. Like I don't like to eat a full meal beforehand because I feel like it almost puts me off because I'm thinking about what's, oh my God, like what have I just eaten this in my stomach? And uh, I'm trying to concentrate on what's going on ahead of me. So these are not like a diet drink. It's not like a protein shake. It's a full meal replacement. So it's got like all 26 vitamins and minerals. It's got really, really good um, fiber in it as well. So it's a complete, meal replacement so I can have one of these which is what I'm going to do today I'll have the alpine chocolate which by the way is delish um, before I go off on the bikes and I know that I've got enough energy for me to ride but I won't have that sort of really full um, you know that really full feeling you get when you've eaten a big meal or something like that I got the other ones that I have here as well my other one that I really like is happy banana and also the smooth vanilla and they're really good because you can keep them. I've got the powder as well, which is really easy to take away with me. So when I get back to Drift Masters and I'm in between takes, I can have one of these, but you can use it any time of the day. You can have breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And as I say, it just takes the stress out of having to think about what to eat for me, because especially when I'm doing something really active, a lot of the time when you're at tracks and things like that, there's like a dodgy burger van there or something, unless you pre-plan ahead and get some sandwiches or something, which I'm never very good at, by the way. So this kind of takes all the worry out of it for me. So as I said, guys, there is a link in the description below. Get yourselves involved. There's a discount code there for you and definitely try them out because I would 100% recommend. Okay, we're pretty much nearly ready to go. The bike's washed, the chain's lubed. I've managed to straighten up my handlebars and James is just putting some fuel in for me. Um, the puppy is getting bigger every single day, aren't you? Yes, yes you are, yep. Oh. Just water? Yep. Thank you, Koki. I need to get into my... Uh... Yeah, she's perfect. Okay, I am so nearly ready to go now. Um, the weather's changed again, which is annoying. That's the thing about being an island, is that the weather can change literally within the, the 
blink of an eye. I was about to say drop of a hat, blink of an eye. Bikes are loaded up. We are so really netty. Really netty? We are super ready. This is good news, guys. Good news. Just driving into the mountain now where we'll park up and start to unload the bikes. We always have a particular spot because it's so easy to get lost in this mountain. It's unreal. So we always have to go start from the same point and then you can't. I don't get lost. Well, I get I get very <laughs> lost. Right, this is okay. Are we stopped? We're stopped. Nearly. Bang. We're stopped. We're stopped. Dirty. Right, okay. Dirty or dirty? Dirty. Dirty. Dirty, dirty. Dirty. Okay, so. This is the only problem with coming motocross riding is it's some effort to get in into the gear. It's hard work. It's oh, like... <laughs> I'm actually stuck. Can you get my can you get my shoulders in, please? Yeah. It does take quite a bit of effort before you ever like turn a wheel, but <laughs> I think it's worth it. So it's like hard to fit over my bump. My bumps. Is that what? <laughs> okay, we're in. No, you're not here. Ah. <laughs> there we go. That nice. Right, we're in. We, we're ready to go. Ah. <laughs> what do you feel like? I feel like Iron Man trying to walk around. It's in like, is this what it's like to get old? I wonder. It's like <laughs> every step is just hard work. Like... Right, come on. We need to get on the bikes now. Come on. Come on. Less talking, more. More action. More action. Right. We're going to head up now. Which way are we going? Left or right? We are going down. Going downhill. And then turning right. And okay. Then and we'll go up some trails. We'll go up to the highest part of the mountain for a yeah. nice view. Go for a nice view. And, and then, then there's a big downhill after that. Big downhill. Some mucky stuff. Rocky stuff. Splashy stuff. Splashy stuff. Yeah, all of that good stuff. Um, this is probably what, like my third time up the mountain? Third time up the mountain. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to get you in the mood, like, yeah, you're waking just, up. Was that supposed to be a branch or something? Yeah, it's just like reactions. It's my, well, that's, that's a good start, isn't it? I was just like, <laughs> uh, it's probably my third time up the mountain now, so uh, I'm still learning. Still learning. Yeah, same for me. I used to come up here when I was young, but I am now old. And it's my first bike ever, actually. Yeah. I used to take along on my brother's bikes and things like that, so. I'm quite the amateur yeah. on two wheels. Same, get ready for the splats guys, let's go. Yep. Yeah, God, I was just like trying to control my clutch there for a second. I was like, oh my God, where are we? That was good though. Yeah, it's like uh, learning all again, isn't it? Yeah, big time. It's like, it takes up so much of your concentration, like picking your line between the rocks and stuff. And I was like trying to regulate my clutch, like, so I didn't like let it, s squib let it squibble about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rocks are so loose though, it's tricky when you're going uphill. Yeah. But the view is unreal. Feels good though. 
God, it's actually warm today. Yeah. Woo! Because it's a workout. So, yeah, I know. We definitely need that. Yeah, for sure. Are you ready? Yeah. It's a steep hill. Very steep hill. One of the steepest in the mountain. Nice work. Okay. It's steep, isn't it? But it's not too bad when you let the bike roll on. Oh. The slower you do it, the harder it is nearly, but it's about confidence and it's hard to have confidence and when you're... Oh, I'd say the camera doesn't even do it justice. Yeah, it's fair. Uh, How are your arms? Yeah, good. I was just like trying to concentrate so much with my weight in the middle of the bike. I was trying to stand up as much as I could because it's just so much easier. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Fair play. Um, right. This next section is nice too, through all the trees and stuff. Yeah, it's sick, I like this one. Alright. That was hard there because my helmet even got a bang of the branch. I hit the branch and I was like, ah! I know, yeah. You could hear the bang. You'll definitely hear it. Woo! Big bang off the branch. Is there near eye there? Yeah, it's sound. Oh, how was that? Ah, first slap of the day. First slap of the day, done. Okay. Yeah, that's the one thing about these trails that I always forget. It's, it's not just about keeping your balance and keeping the clutch and the accelerator do you know, so you're not like, uh, 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 like trying to uh, avoid modulate the rock there, yeah, like yeah. modulate it. Like you have to be aware of all the low, low hanging trees and sticks and things. Like I just needed my eyeball poked out of my head by a stick. Yeah, and it was a big stick. It was like an inch, an inch Whoops. diameter. But not bad. I'm a bit rusty, but at least I'm getting back up. It kind up. of gives us the motivation that we need to come up here more. Yeah. So at least I'm back up on the pegs, I'm not sat yeah. on my ass. Yeah, you're standing loads, it's great. Which is good, because yeah. it just makes life a lot easier, but it's almost like a, a mental barrier to get over, it's to stand up, because yeah. you're just like, ah, ah. You have further to fall. Well. Especially if you're me. <laughs> you need some fall. risers. I know, I know. But I can yeah. stand, but it's like, yeah, the handlebars are far away from me for sure. Keeps you tough, oh, but. look at this. Is that a flower? It's a flower. What is it for me? Lucky day. Ah, oh, fit in my ear. In your ear. Oh, not actually in my. Oh. Okay. I meant like. Oh, oh, on your ear. He says romance isn't is is dead. Very special uh, in Ireland. There you go. Is it in? Yeah, it's on. Do I look pretty? <laughs> right, let's go.
cry about four times there. Oh. <laughs> Did you see me nearly die? Yeah, every time you nearly died, I nearly died or <laughs> killed you more. <laughs> wow! <laughs> right. Oh, Jesus. Over that moan next. Oh, shit. Over some sticks and we're done. Alrighty. Good job. Let's do this. Yeah, we need practice. Yeah. So, so, we're huh? back, bikes are dirty. Oh my god. Yours is fairly cleanish. Huh? Yours is pretty clean. What do you mean? I mean that I mean, my bike is right there. <laughs> it's a good one because you, I tell you what, when you were going through some of those puddles, you were just splashing me with shit. <laughs> that was a good one. Oh, right, lads, it's some crack. Like, I'm still very much learning, and every time I go out on the bike, I think the good thing about it is it makes you do stuff that you probably look at and go, I can't do that. Do you know, like sometimes I look at a trail and I'm like, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. And then you're like, come on. You have to face your fears. Get yeah. on with it. Yeah. And then when you do it, you feel wicked. It's like, I haven't done something like that for ages, which really makes me feel like that. So even though I like have a few whacks here and there, it's worth it for the old head. <laughs> yeah, it's good head space, isn't it? <laughs> There ain't much going on up here today, to be honest. Uh, why do we go bike riding on a Monday? Start the week. I guess. Blow off some steam. <laughs> yeah. Well, we blow off steam over the weekend, but I guess get some fresh air. That's more like it. Are you saying words? Today is word day. <laughs> right, let me wrap this up. Right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys again next time. Sorry, this video is a little bit late. Just had uh, over the weekend, we were having to sort the cars out because we are, in fact, going drifting next weekend. So that will be my next video for you lot. Other than that, stay safe, do all that good jazz, and I'll see you. Oh my God, that's a wasp. I will see you uh, next week. Bye.